welcome to Fitness Kickstart. If you haven't exercised in a while, you're looking to get back to exercise, or perhaps have never exercised, this is the right class for you. We'll be alternating between seated and standing work, but if at any time the standing work is too much for you, feel free to take a seat. Let's talk about how we sit in our chair. We want to sit in really good, excuse me, really good posture. We want to make sure our backs are not actually on the chair, but we do want a chair with a back. I'm going to scoot myself forward a little bit. I sit up nice and tall. My feet, I would like my feet to be parallel to one another, running forward and back. My ankles right underneath my knees. Roll my shoulders back and away. And then push your chin back just a little bit so your ears are over your shoulders and your shoulders are over your hip bones. Brace the belly. You might have felt your glutes or your butt tighten, maybe your shoulders lift. Think of the crown of the head lifting. Roll those shoulders back and away and drop your arms comfortably. This is our good seated posture. This is the position we'll be moving from as we exercise. Before we start moving, let's get warmed up. Drop those hands by your sides. Lift and lower. Pull the shoulders up and then push them away. Notice how it feels to push the shoulders down, away from the ears. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Hold right here. Take a big breath. Circle the hands wide. Exhale the hands down. Do it again. Connect your hands behind your back and slide them down your back towards the chair, opening up that chest. Makes more room for the breath. Helps improve our posture. Shake them out. Reach. Reach. Reach to me one arm at a time. Spread the fingers. This time both arms go together. Reach. Open wide. See if you can pull your hands towards your back. Bring the right arm across. Grab the left arm, give it a push, drop it down. You can reach behind a little bit. Let's do it again. Reach out wide. Other arm pushes the other way. Give it a push, drop the shoulder. Reach around. Good. Shake the hands out. Reach and push diagonally. One more each way. Good. Shake them out. We're going to repeat our warm-up standing. If you choose to stay seated, you may. Otherwise, tuck in your feet, lift your spine, brace your belly, push yourself straight up in the air. Stand up nicely. We're going to come to the side of our chair. Roll the shoulders back and away. While we're standing, we're gonna do a small march. Doesn't have to be fast. While we're marching, remember that lift and lower? Up and down. You can march in your chair. Push the shoulders away. Feet are right underneath our hips. Last one, good, shake those out. Let's find our good standing posture. We found our good seated posture. Take your foot and turn your heel into your instep. Put all the weight on the ball of your foot and then pivot your foot out. Your feet are parallel. Your feet should be right underneath your hips. Bend your knees a little bit. Pull the muscles up through here and then pull the muscles around into your belly button. Again, feel your glutes tighten maybe, your ribs lift. Roll the shoulders back and away. Feel like you're being lifted from a string in the center of your head and tuck your chin back. This should put your ear over your shoulder, your shoulder over your hips, your hips over your knees, your knees over your ankles. This is our good standing posture. We want to move from this place of good posture to create good movement patterns for our body. While we're here, take a big breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Do it again. 
Again, you can do this seated, that's where you choose to be. All I ask is that you move. Roll the shoulders back and away, march it out. Now, we had you reaching before, so I want you to reach and reach. A little differently, there's a swing of the arm. Two steps or a slow motion march. Any movement is better than no movement. Good. Last one. Hold right here. I'm gonna take my feet slightly wider than hips. Roll your shoulders back and away. Bring your hands up here. Push. As I push, I'm lifting the opposite, that same foot in the opposite direction so I don't wrench hips or knees. Push, push, pushing to the opposite corners of the room. Four, three, two, and one. Good, roll the shoulders back and away. We march, feet under hips. Think about lifting, pushing the knees forward and lifting the heels off the ground, the toes, the last thing to come off the ground. Can you swing your arms naturally to go with that? If you're still seated, I want you to pretend to get up, but don't actually do it. We're gonna do a little bit more of that later. If you're standing, small squats. A small knee bend, brace your belly, pull the shoulders back. You can even put your hands on your hips. This is called a superhero pose. Pulls your shoulder blades back, opens up your chest, makes you stand proud, tall. Three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Good, hold the feet, take a big breath. Maybe your eye gaze goes with. Come on down. Good. Roll the shoulders back and away. I'm gonna pick up, move a little bit quicker. Move, see if we can get our heart rate up a little bit. At any time it doesn't feel right, come back to the chair. Ready? March quicker. It's a party. It's a dance party. It's an exercise party. Just move in any way that feels good to you. That little warm up we did, a little shift, step, tap. Add an arm. Reach. Push, like you're pushing something off the countertop. If that feels good, you can stay there. If you want a little more, reach overhead. Good, march it out. We're gonna do a little toe tap. We're gonna step up over and back. If this is the speed you wanna work at, that's fine. Otherwise, we're gonna pick it up. As if you're picking up your foot, stepping over a small puddle. Four. Three, two, march it out. Good. We're gonna take two steps this way. So behind the chair, one, two, one, two. It doesn't have to be big. We're just stepping side to side. If you need to take out the arms, just move the feet. Otherwise, it's a reach and pull. Just three more. Three, two, one. Good, march it out. We're gonna do a little balance work while we're here. Lift, slow motion run. Slow motion run. Slow motion run. Good. A little quicker. Lift, lift. Think about lifting up. Up, up. A little high knee march. Four, three, 
four, three, two. Low march, march it out. Good. From here, put all your weight on the foot away from the chair. Take the other foot, step it forward, and step it back. Forward, and back. It's as if you went for a walk, froze and rewind the video. Forward, and back. Can you step a little bit farther back? Can we keep the heel lifted? One more. Good, march it out. We're gonna do the other side. The chair is available for balance if you need it. Ready, slow motion, forward and back. Use the chair if you need it, forward and back. Forward and back. Step forward, freeze, rewind the video. Stepping a little bit farther back each time, keeping that heel lifted. Two more. Good. March it out. Let's do a little kick. We're going to go kick, 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 kick. Reach, reach. Maybe a little quicker. Reach the fingers forward. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Good. A little bit of a squat. Down and up. When you come up, push your heels into the floor. Let's have a seat. Remember that good seated posture? Come a little bit forward in the chair. Just because we're seated doesn't mean we can't do a little cardio or aerobic work. That's what we just did before. We're gonna do a little bit more right here in our chair. I want you to march feet. Hands are by your sides. Lift and lower, lift, lower. Good, keep those feet going. Move the arms. Remember those toe taps? We're gonna change those to heel presses. We press, press. Now the way to get the body moving, heart rate up a little bit while we're seated, engage the arms. Tap the heels. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Bring those hands up, cross them over, pull back, cross them over, pull back. Let's pick it up. One, two, one, two. Big squeeze of the shoulder blades. Now you have noticed, there's no equipment. We don't need equipment. You are your own best fitness equipment. My arms weigh something. I'm starting to feel it. Hold right here. Bring them down. Good. Roll the shoulders back and away. Take that right foot. Go. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Let's switch. Feet, other side, go out. I'm holding everything still. I'm moving this whole leg right from the hip. Holding the hands up. Last one, right here. Good, march it in place. We're gonna do something called out, out, in, in. We're gonna walk our feet. We're gonna go out, out, in, in. In, in. Not far, but I'm holding myself in really good posture. You ready to go quicker? Let's do it. 
Brace your belly, your body wants to tip over. Even though we're seated, we are still practicing our balance. Hold. Did you go that way first? We're gonna do it again, go this way first. Ready? Out and in. Three, two, one. March it out, shake those shoulders. Let's just move our arms. Punch the ceiling. You can hold the leg still. Four, three, two, one. March it out. If at any time any of this is too much, bring the intensity down. Anytime the arms are overhead, the heart rate goes up to so bring the arms down. So maybe it's here. Go across. Or with the feet still. A little quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Ah, feel good? Take a breath. Connect behind the back. Open the chest. Shake things out. Let's work our upper body a little bit. We're not gonna worry about getting our heart rate up. We just wanna work on our muscular endurance. That's how long can we move the muscles, not how heavy of something can we can lift, and how long we can move them. Let's start with the chest. Hands are right here. Press forward, pull back. Press forward, pull back. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades. See if you can squeeze your armpits together. I'm not going to touch, but you can try. Three, two, one. Shake it out. We're going to take our 90 degree arms and bring them up and open them. Very similar to what we just did. Squeeze the shoulder blades. See if you can touch your elbows and your palms open. If you can't touch, that's okay. Can you touch your elbows behind? No, you can't. You can try. Press, like you're pressing something heavy. Cut net. Pull. Push. Pull. Hold. Shake it out. work our backs a little bit and we're gonna do the seated so sit up nice and tall and then tip from the hip my eye gaze is between my toes and bring my hands down by my sides make fists and fly squeeze your shoulder blades together lift the belly button into your spine right now your abdominal muscles your core muscles are the only thing holding your spine up so be kind to your spine brace Make a fist. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Ready this time, up quick, hold. Down slow. Up quick, down slow. Two more just like that. Up quick, down slow. Up quick, hold, 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 hold. Stretch and reach your fingers. Push down. Good. Roll the shoulders back and away. Work to the middle of, of your upper back. We're gonna do some more stuff for your lower back standing for right now. Let's work the front of your arms. You're gonna come right here. Pull up, spread the fingers, and press as if the air was very thick. Pushing your hands through marshmallow fluff. Now when you get to the bottom, make sure you fully extend, open as far as you can, and pull up. Can you touch your shoulders? It's okay if you can't. Shake that out. We're gonna do another set. This time we're gonna add a little pause part way through. We're gonna start here, come all the way to the top. Pause right here. Pulse for eight, seven, Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, and push down, all the way down. Good, let's do it again. All the way up, part way, eight, seven, six, One. You got two more sets like that in you? Let's do it. Up. Pause. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. To the bottom. Now you're creating the tension by spreading your fingers and pressing. Here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Ooh, shake that out. Should felt that right through here. Right. We want to work the backs of the arms as well, the triceps. So I want to have you take your hands, put your hands on your hips, and then squeeze your elbows back as far as you can. Sit up nice and tall and tip from the hip. I'm going to try and touch the side of my chair. One, two. So if you are in a chair with sides, you could stand up and do this, or switch chairs. A bench, push, 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 push. Take them both back and hold. Push, 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 push. Wriggle your fingers back there. Yeah, shake them out. I mentioned earlier pretending you're gonna stand up. I'm gonna have you pull your feet in a little bit, sit up nice and tall, and pretend you're gonna stand, but don't actually leave the chair. Push the muscles on the backs of your legs and then your butt into the chair, into the floor. Almost stand up. Almost stand up. Not quite. Four, three, push the floor away. Two, almost a little space. One, and come back down. You can either stay with that or come with me. We are actually going to go from seated to standing several times. Do know where your chair is. Try not to lead with your hands or lead with your butt. We want to think about going straight up. So reach and stand. And then sit all the way down. Reach and stand. And sit. Two more just like that. Up. Yep, my chair's right there. I know where it is. Up and stand. Good. Take a little break. Choose one of those two options. Pretend to stand or sit and stand. This time we're gonna stand and just gently tap the chair. We're not actually gonna sit on it this time. So we're gonna come up, tap the chair and rise. Tap, oops, you're just feeling the back of your legs. Stand up. Two more. And this time, stay standing. Good. Come around to the side of your chair if you're going to use it for balance. Roll the shoulders back and away. So I mentioned that we're going to work our lower back standing. We're going to do something called a good morning. We're going to stand up nice and tall, put our hands right here in our thighs, and slide our hands down and up. But I'm not really sliding my hands. I'm tipping from the hip. Nothing moves with my hip joint. Push your butt back and pull up. Before you pull up, brace that belly, pull up. Drive your heels into the floor. You might feel a stretch in the back of the legs, eye gaze to my chair, and across the room. Working that lower back, a little bit of your belly as well. Breathe. Down and up. Come back forward again, shake things out. Hang on to your chair. I want you to stick out one foot and bend. Stick out the other foot and bend. You may need to put your heel on the floor. Tap, tap. Doing a little single leg squat. If you don't need to hang on, don't. For a little bit more, you can reach around the front. 
and reach. You would think faster would be harder, but we're gonna go slower, because slower is a little more challenging. Ready? Slow. Okay. Challenging your balance as well as your leg strength. Now you might see a little bit of a wobble in my ankle or my knee. That's a good thing. That's my body trying to maintain balance or find balance. So when we stop looking for that balance, we have a problem. Good, march it out. Let's shake things out. We're gonna do something called a hamstring curl. No, I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. You're gonna try and kick yourself in the butt. Full sh shift side to side. Here, pull. You can reach and pull or keep your hands on your hips. You're gonna give yourself a little kick in the butt. You did already, you're here, you're working out. Reach and pull. Good, march that out. So we did a little forward and back step earlier that walking, pretending, forward and back. That's the beginning of a lunge. So we're gonna do some forward stepping lunges. Hands to chair, hands to hips. And you're just gonna step and come back. Step and come back. Step, bend both knees and come back. Front knee over front ankle. Back knee searches for the floor. Two more. Lift that back heel. Use the chair if you need it. Good. Other side, all we're gonna do is switch. Step, come on back. Step. Let's do two more. Again, use the chair if you need it. Good. Right here. Let's challenge our balance a little bit. Raise up, come down. It's just a little heel lift or a calf raise. You can stay with that. Maybe that's exactly where you need to be. Maybe you want to reach higher. Maybe you want to reach with one, one hand in the chair and one foot. And maybe you want to switch. Oh. Can you do it? Challenging the balance. Hang on to the chair if you need it. Good. A little march right here. Let's do a little bit of core work. Roll your shoulders back away. Hold your hands right here. Press your hands together, reach out, pull in. Pretend the back of your hand is hot lava. Don't let it touch your belly. Pull your belly away. Pull it in a little bit more each time. Hold and let it all out. Let's do that again. Reach, pull, pull, in, and in. Let it out. We're gonna add on. Reach and pull. Again, you can do this seated. Hold, let it all go. One more time. Reach, Hands are hot lava, don't let them touch. Pull the belly away. Pull it in, one more, and breathe. Ooh, shake that out. Take a little march, a little side tap. I think we did this a little earlier, yes? Reach, reach. Good. Nice and tall. Let's change the arms. Same tap. Just let the shoulders go. Okay. Take your right foot. Step it back. Drop the heels to the floor this time. Drive the hips forward. Reach. Reach to me. Reach to the sky. If you feel good and balanced, let go. Open up. Good. Bring the hands down behind. Open your chest. Good. Step in. Switch sides. Step back, drop that heel, drive the hips forward. Reach, reach, let's 
squeeze the butt. Remember the chair's there if you need it. Hands behind the back. Open the chest. A little compound movement. We're gonna challenge our balance while we move both upper and lower body. Come right here. Take feet wider than hips. Reach up. Palms towards the floor. Pull up and over. Try rotating your palm and see if that changes the stretch. Maybe take your eye gaze up to the sky. Let's go the other way. Palm down, reach. Palm up, eye gaze up. Come on right here, roll the shoulders. Step touch, let the shoulders go. The arms will follow. All by themselves. One more big breath. Exhale. Good. Bring your toes to face the front. Roll the shoulders back and away. Tip from the hip, that one last good morning. You put your hands on your thighs. Maybe push one shoulder in, and then the other. Switch sides. A little stretch in the backs of the legs, maybe, perhaps. A little stretch in the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back and away, come on up. Let's have a seat. We're gonna start our seated stretching. Sitting up nice and tall, bracing the belly. I'm on the front edge of the chair. If I sat far in the back of the chair and I go to straighten my leg, the chair's in my way. So I wanna come forward, push that foot forward, lift the ribs off the hips. Take a nice big breath, tip from the hip. Lead to the collarbone, leave the shoulder blades behind. You can put your hand on your thigh if you want. Roll those shoulders back. Keep lifting your toe towards your shin. Breathe. For a little bit more, press that toe to the floor, stretch the front of your shin, and then spread your toes, push the ball of the arch of the heel, and pull that toe up towards your shin. If you need a little bit more, reach your hands, tip from the hip, and reach towards your toes. If it's right for your body, you can tuck your chin and reach even more. Connect your fingers, inhale and rise. And open the chest. Tipping back ever so slightly, palms to the sky. Feel that chest open. Come to seated. Open the hip, right from the hip joint. Don't turn your foot out, turn the whole leg out. Bring the other leg out to meet it. You can connect arch of the foot, top of the foot, shin, but it feels right for you. That leg can come all the way up, flex the foot and open up that hip. I'm gonna sit super tall, take a nice big breath and tip from the hip. Pull my shoulder blades back, lead with the collarbone. Have your beautiful necklace, show me what it looks like. For a little bit more, lift the toe on the floor. Feel that stretch shift and change. Now, if it's right for you to do so, you can either cross your ankles or cross your knee, lift your spine and pull that knee towards you and start to look over that shoulder. If it feels good, you can reach behind. Think height through the spine and then rotation. Bring that hand back down. Switch sides. I'm gonna push the other foot forward, lift, tip from the hip. You bring your hand down to support yourself on your thigh, roll those shoulders back and away, lead with the collarbone, lift that toe towards that shin. Breathe, push your toe to the floor, hold it there for a breath, spread your toes, push through the ball, the arch, the heel, roll the shoulders back and away. For a little more, we reach and tip. If it's right for you, you can tuck the chin and reach even farther. Connect the fingers, inhale, rise up the center. Lean back ever so slightly and open palms to the ceiling. Feel the shoulders open, feel the chest open. You can even drop your fingers and lift your wrists, feel the biceps stretch. Bring the other foot out to meet, open from the hip. Bring the heel in to the instep, cross, maybe here. I'm gonna stay here this time, flex the foot, Remember, you can come all the way up if you choose. 
tip from the hip. And for a little more, lift the toe on the floor. You might feel that in your lower back. And rise. Again, if it's right for your body, you can cross the ankle or the knee. Pull that knee into you. Lift your spine. Look over your shoulder. And then begin to reach back. Height first before rotation. Reaching long. Bring that hand back down. Now I want you to scoot back, all the way back to the chair, as far as you can, and then hinge from the hip. Allow the chair to support your spine. We're still sitting in that good seated posture. Roll your shoulders back and away. Inhale the spine long, being pulled up by a string, and exhale and look over one shoulder. Inhale center. Exhale the other direction. Inhale center. Exhale the other way. Inhale. And exhale. Back to the original direction. This time, drop your chin as if you were tracing your shirt collar all the way around up the other side. Take a breath. And exhale back. Lift up and lower down. One more. Come back center. Reach your hands out to me. And open wide. Lean back a little bit. Open up. Take your pinkies and rotate them up over your wrists as far as they go. Now take your thumbs and dump them the other way. One more. Pinkies up. This time drop your fingers. Lift your elbows. Take one hand. Push it behind your head. You can stop here. You can come here. Give it a push or a pull. We're looking to stretch right through here just touching the back of my neck. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Drop fingers again, lifting the elbows, stretch those biceps. Touch behind the head. Push or pull, wherever's right for you. Looking for a big stretch through here. Good. Shake that out and drop your hands by your side. Lean all the way back. Get comfortable. With it, big inhale, circle the hands. Hold the hands high and exhale, shoulders away from ears. Inhale and reach to the sky and exhale the hands down the way they came, closing or lowering your eyes on the way, taking as much time and as many breaths as you need to reach the bottom. When you do reach the bottom, hold your hands in a comfortable position. Maybe that's right where they are or on your lap. Roll your shoulders back on away. Breathe in through your nose. And out through either the nose or the mouth. Can you breathe deeply into your belly? As you breathe in, push the belly forward. As you exhale, use the belly muscles to push the air back out. Once you've settled your breath, make sure your body is settled. Maybe you need to push your feet forward and let them fall heavy. Feel the backs of the legs and your glutes and your back connect with the chair. Feel your shoulders drop and your spine lift. Notice how you feel after moving. Feel good emotionally and physically, mentally. And if you find your mind begins to wander, focus again on the breath, the in, the out. Easing away any tension or tightness with the breath, sending it, sending it away with the exhale.
Take a few moments here just to breathe. You're welcome to stay right where you are, but if you'd like, you can drop your hands heavy by your sides. And on your next in-breath, circle your hands wide, floating them up slowly, feeling them weightless. When you reach the top, hold your hands high and exhale, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, reach to the sky and exhale the hands down the way they came, heavy yet weightless, floating. Take any extra breaths you need. When you reach the bottom, inhale and rise again. Circling wide. Hold the hands high at the top. Exhale, shoulders away from ears. Inhale and reach to the sky, connecting fingers and palms with slight pressure. Begin to exhale the hands down towards the forehead. Take any extra breaths you need to pass the nose and the chin. Landing at your beautiful hearts. I bid you namaste. Happy day. Thank you for joining me for Fitness Kickstart. Hope this kickstarts a good fitness journey for you. And have a great day.